Okay, hi, so in this video we're going to talk a bit about drugs in sport. And so in this case, we are usually not talking about recreational drugs like we did in the previous video. We are talking about drugs which are going to help sportsmen perform better. And we call those PEDs. So PEDs, which stands for performance enhancing drugs. And one obvious example of a performance enhancing drug is a steroid steroid so steroids now steroids are a large group of drugs steroid is not just one drug it's a specific type of drug but what they do is they help build muscle mass and this allows athletes who need to be as strong as they can with as much muscle mass as they as they possibly can it allows them to build it faster and in a more effective way and so this is of course not really fair on the other athletes who are not taking steroids and therefore it is actually banned. The use of steroids is completely banned. And therefore in competitions, these are tested for. And if a sportsman is found to test positive for steroids, then they will be banned and disqualified from the competition at least. Now something which is important is that the use of steroids especially, but other performance enhancing drugs as well, can also be dangerous for other people if they are taking part in a fighting sport. So things like boxing, kickboxing, MMA, uh, these are where you are directly uh, looking to harm someone else. And if a drug has given you an unfair advantage, it may have given you even more strength than you would originally have, this means that you are putting someone else's life at risk and therefore it's a very serious offence to be using these drugs in a fighting sport. And finally, steroids, they also have dangerous side effects for the user. So they have side effects. Side effects. And some of these include damages to the reproductive system. They can cause someone to become sterile. Uh, they also include um, things like liver failure. So there are some quite serious side effects from performance enhancing drugs. Now, something else which may be slightly less obvious and we can take them quite often, is a painkiller. So painkillers. So why would painkillers be a problem in sports? Well, a painkiller could allow a, an athlete sorry, to carry on through an injury. So it can allow work through an injury. Obviously, if we have an injury and it's really painful, we're going to stop... Uh, participating in the sport most likely whereas if you were taking a really strong painkiller and you didn't notice that you were in um, a lot of pain and that you had damage to your body you might carry on and this could cause the injury to exacerbate because of course the painkiller is not going to cure the injury it's just going to stop you feeling the pain when you come off the painkiller you're going to be in a world of pain and your injury will probably be worse so therefore strong painkillers are also banned Okay, there are also more specific drugs for certain sports, such as ones to slow heart rate. Slow heart rate. And if you think the reason you'd want to do that is in something like darts or in rifle shooting or in archery or things like that when you have to have a steady arm in order to hit the target. And slowing your heart rate will stop you from shaking as much and therefore you're more likely to get the right shot. Okay, so there are various other types of performance enhancing drug as well. For example, there's one called EPO, which allows you to produce more red blood cells, which of course provides more oxygen and allows you to uh, carry on for longer. So that is particularly useful in things like long distance running and cycling, and people have been caught um, and have been in the news very recently. Okay, right, so on that note, we need to be able to catch... Uh, people who use them. So catch the people who use the performance enhancing drugs. And important to note is that there are so many different performance enhancing drugs that we need to be able to test for them constantly. So we need to constantly um, produce, so we need to produce new tests regularly. So on a regular basis. And that's because, of course, when people figure out um, that a certain test can detect certain performance enhancing drugs, 
Then they will move on to a slightly different drug, uh, which those tests can't detect. So we need to constantly produce new tests which can uh, detect these drugs. Now what's very important is that some medicines, some innocent medicines that we can take, actually contain substances which are banned. So in order for a sportsman to make sure that they are clean, they need to be extremely careful and always consult a doctor. So always consult a doctor before taking any kind of medicine. So always consult the doctor before medicine. And that's because if they take a medicine for innocent reasons, but they get tested and it's found that they have taken these illegal substances or banned substances in their sport, then they will be disqualified, even if they didn't mean to cheat. Uh, one thing to note, and I mentioned EPO in running and cycling, some tests are not just testing to see whether you have that drug inside you or that substance, because a lot of these substances we actually produce naturally. And it's when we take an a unnatural amount of them that they become performance enhancing. So we actually test amounts for a lot of substances. Some substances we just, if, if they're in your bloodstream, then that's it. It's illegal. Whereas other ones, you test the amounts because a small amount of certain substances is okay. Right, so there are a lot of ethical considerations here. So there really is a whole strain of ethics um, for, so there we go, ethics involved with performance enhancing drugs. Obviously, most people agree that performance enhancing drugs should not be used. Uh, a lot of the time they're used in order to gain an unfair advantage over other people. However, a counter argument to that is that some people naturally will produce um, more of a certain substance which gives them an advantage. Some people naturally, um, by genetics, can put on muscle mass more than other people. And so is that fair? Should those people who cannot be allowed to take substances which allow them a level playing field? So that actually is a counter argument. If you're given a question, you need to be able to distinguish um, the for and against arguments for drugs in sport. Of course, um, to make things sort of fair overall, we do ban the substances and we stop people from taking these drugs, but that is actually stopping some people from participating in a sport that they would like to, to at least to a high level anyway, because genetically they might not be able to compete. So that is up to you to form an opinion on. Um, if you are asked a question about it, do give your opinion, but make sure you argue for and against the use of performance enhancing drugs. Okay, so we're going to stop there. Um, I hope that's cleared things up about what a performance enhancing drug is and exactly why they are used and how they are used. If you do have any questions, please feel free to comment in the box below or send me a direct email using the link and I'll see you in the next video.